Hello every single buddy. We um, are going to do a review today on the Wet n Wild Color Icon Limited Edition palettes. Now I know I did a haul video on these once and I just showed them to you packaged so that you had a good idea of what they looked like. And um, so yeah, I know that there was some confusion. People said I didn't do swatch out. It was more or less just a haul and little alert that I had found them and where they were, what they looked like. Um, and I was going out of town, so I really didn't have time for the swatch out anyway, so I apologize. Now that I have played with them and I've used all the colors and I've even done a tutorial on it, I can get the brush hairs out of my lipstick and do a review for you. Okay, let us start with the neutral palette. Here is the neutral palette. This is the shimmery version of Vanity. And you're going to be able to note right there that there is an eyeshadow missing. Just before I started filming this review, I accidentally dropped this palette. And I have the pan, but unfortunately the eyeshadow is crushed. It was an orangey gold color, so it's not like I'm dying or anything like that. If I can find another one of these, I may replace it. I may, or may, uh, I don't know. It wasn't like it was a to die for color. But I can show you the smithereens on my floor. Those are the remains of that eyeshadow. It's gone. That's kind of interesting that that happened. It really shows you that these are very, very soft, soft eyeshadows. And they're easily breakable. And if you drop it, you can probably say goodbye. So um, be very, very, very careful with these. Uh, I actually had the lid shut when I dropped it. But I will swatch the remaining colors. I do apologize about that one. And here is the highlight color. These colors are very unique. I can only compare a few to MAC sh shades. They're a, little, they're a little gritty though, I must admit. None of the colors in here quite remind me of anything by MAC quite. This one kind of looks like Honey by Urban Decay Deluxe Eyeshadow. A little bit like Amber Lights. And this color is very unique. It's like a very amber color. Somebody actually thought I was wearing plums. I don't know if it's got a plummy undertone to you. But they, as you can see, they're pretty soft. The color payoff is fairly decent. The lighter colors tend, are a little gritty. Now I'm going to go on to the Snow Sprite palette. Each palette has these cheesy applicators. So here we have these pastel colors. I typically don't like pastel colors. I find that even in high-end brands they run a little chalky. That one's not bad. It's a silver tone blue. A minty green. Minty mid-tone green. Kind of looks like Mary Jane by Urban Decay. Not quite humid, but similar. Deep Truth or Contrast. Ugh. Camera fall. Now let's move on to the purples. I think this is a beautiful palette to, to look at. It does remind me of the Lust colors, but more shimmery. You might be able to see that some of the colors of other ones are falling into other ones. It's kind of the downside about the glitter in here is that it can sort of rearrange the tone. Here is something that looks similar to Floof by MAC. I can't quite pinpoint this funny shade. This weird beige thing. I haven't seen MAC promote anything like that. Then this little purple color sort of reminds me of a shimmery digit. Not quite. This looks like tracks. This one in the middle is a tracks. So if you've been thinking about getting tracks but you're not sure about how it would look on you, I do recommend this palette. This looks like some limited edition shimmery purple shadow that came out by MAC. And this is a warmer version of Beauty Marked because it has a little bit more of a brown tone. This color alone is almost worth getting the palette for. It's really pretty. 
I got compliments when I wore this. I know a lot of people said that this is the worst quality one of the palettes. Um, it's not awful. I do recommend using some mattes with this to really make certain colors in here pop and stand out. Um, if you're looking for somewhere to put this, this would look nice on the lid. Now, for my favorite palette, I do think that this is the smoothest one with the best quality. I'm wearing the, um, the Club Dupe right here on my lid. You have maybe have already seen the tutorial for this look. I'll have it uploaded by then. Um, I did change a couple things around because if you look at the tutorial, you'll note throughout the tutorial, I have black fallout all over my cheeks. And for some weird reason, I was so involved in filming the tutorial that I didn't notice it until I put my blush on. While I was editing it, I was like, why do my cheeks look so ruddy? And then I looked at, while I was editing it, I noticed, oh, pfft. I got black fallout all over my cheeks, so I had to remove my whole face. So if you see that there's a slight difference in some things, that's that's why. I'm just wearing Max My Highland Honey. So let's go on to the palette. This is actually a pretty nice highlighter. I am wearing it. I didn't change the eyes at all. But here it is. I know some people are going to say it's somewhat chalky, but it does remind me of Polyester Bride. It's not bad at all. Um, I just put a little bit on. It doesn't appear chalky on the face. Um, this looks like, I don't know, like maybe Silver Ring or Silver Fog by MAC. This is probably the most duped out palette by MAC, but it's also the best quality uh, palette, so I can't really say I don't like it. This is a more beige toned sem sumptuous olive. Perhaps you know a different brand dupe for that. This looks like Bold and Brash Pigment by MAC. I have a little bit of black in there now. That's kind of why. But it does look like Bold and Brash. This is a dead-on club. It even works like club, works like Label Whore, and it works like Lounge by Urban Decay. Label Whore is by Too Faced. And this is a dupe for Black Tide. This is really nice, uh, very inky black. It does get into the red, unfortunately. If you use it, uh, it will flick off into the red. But overall, this is really nice, really pigmented. I do recommend doing your face last if you're going to use it. But you do have um, some green glitter in this. This is really, really nice. It's not quite Black Tide because of that green glitter, but I do love that black with the green glitter. This is really nice. It reminds me of that Booksome Stay There eyeshadow called Black Lab with the rainbow sparkles. Interesting color. So all in all I'd say that Night Elf is the best quality, the most Christmassy, and there's tons of looks you can do with Night Elf. Night Elf is definitely my favorite, creamiest, most dupable, dupable two MAC eyeshadows. This is my second favorite, and I know it's not everybody's. I do think there's a lot of beautiful things you can do with this. I realize I do a lot of lavender, purple, lilac tutorials, um, but I do think that this looks nice if you combine it with some mattes. You can really make this work. Um, you know, of course, I, uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion makes all the difference in the world, or Too Faced Shadow Insurance, whatever you like. And then, this is nice too. Um, the pale greens in here do show up on the face. Um, this is really nice. There's some ma couple MAC dupes here at the bottom. Um, these are very pastel-y pale. They're not like my top picks. I'm not really into pastels. But it's not bad. It's a nice to have. This is okay. It does make a pretty eye in the very end. But there's a lot of colors in here I don't consider um, must-haves. They're very brassy. Um, I prefer the Vanity palette um, to this. Uh, if I could skip on one palette, it might be this. Even though, yeah, even though you can make a pretty, a few pretty looks with this, I guess I'd skip on this just because I guess I have shades that are similar to it. But this shade that broke here at the bottom is so not nice to have. So if you're looking for shadows that aren't going to break, crumble, or fall apart on you, I can't obviously can't promise that these won't. But bear in mind, they're only $5 a pop, so you do get a lot of shades for $5, and I think that they're worth having or giving as stocking stuffers. So that is my review and my swatch out. I hope that you found that more, um, more satisfying, more to your likings, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.